Hey guys, this is Zlot coming at you with another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival on the Geek Tech Industries server. Woo! Um, this is episode something. Uh, what is it? Episode nine? Okay, episode nine. Let's let's go with nine. Uh, you can see here that I have souped up the HV a little bit. Um, now that I hit level, oh, those are just birds, and you'll notice we're on a different planet again. I'll get into that in a sec. I just want to show off what I did here. Okay, so I removed the old drills and put on some lasers. <laughs> yes, some freaking lasers. Okay. So I got five of them on there. I, I added a bunch more uh, pot lights on angles and stuff, painted them up. Um, yeah, so I had tested a couple of the lasers earlier just on, on it to see if they're better than the um, regular drills and they were so. I decided to, to go gangbusters with them. So I think we want to go check this out. Now, I'm going to explain what we're seeing here. This is a planet called Dirt. So yeah, it's a whole lot of dirt. And see those mounds of stuff over there, like that right there? Those are meteorites that have been crashing to the planet and are totally mineable with a drilling HV. So I think what we want to do is we want to go out and test this uh, HV's drilling ability on some of these uh, meteorites. And um, another thing too is this planet actually does have a, a little smidge of water here and there. So it is actually a viable planet to live on. It's actually got a um, an atmosphere that's breathable. There's not much in the way of wildlife. There are there were some worms kicking around a while ago that I killed for their meat, but I don't see any around anymore. Maybe I scared them off. But anyway, so it's um it's pretty much just a big desert. Uh there's absolutely no POIs on it at all. The 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 aliens have not discovered the hidden sanctuary yet. I guess it's hidden somehow or another to them. They can't see it, but but that gives us the freedom to to build and and harvest minerals and and you know I don't know. This is a nice open flat plain here. I'm kind of gigging on it. You can see we are in the middle of a huge open plane. Now there is some terrain on the planet. It's just not where we are. Um, and there's little scant pools of water here and there on the lower areas. Like you can see right, right there, there's a little mud puddle. But you know what? That's good enough to generate water and air with. Uh, not that we need air down here, but um it's we're planning on going you know space traveling you need air and space so this is definitely a viable planet to live on um i guess as long as a meteorite doesn't crash on the base so let's go check out see how well this hv does i'm really stoked about it uh by the way it doesn't matter if you wear your helmet if you're in an oxygenated area because it actually still does not draw from your um, suit if you're wearing a helmet in an oxygenated area. So that's if you have the symbol beside the helmet, the O2 symbol is lit up, you, it doesn't matter if you're wearing your helmet or not. Uh, if it's not lit up, you have to be wearing your helmet or you will suffocate. So. Um, that's kind of cool that they did that. So you can just leave your helmet on all the time. It just doesn't matter. 
Uh, for those of you old schoolers that were used to taking off your helmet to prevent yourself from suffocating, yes, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, here's our rig where we've got five drills on it, three down at the bottom, two up on the sides. <clears throat> I couldn't really find any way of really contouring it any better, so it's just, just a big, kind of clunky looking, I don't know. We'll see how it handles. It's probably going to suck the power down really bad. Speaking of, what do I got on me? I've made 50 of those. That's good. Oh, yeah, I got to go place these down, too. I've got lots of oxygen. I've got no food on me. Let's see if I've left any in the... A lot of times I'll leave seaweed in my constructor, which I did. There we go. So I, I can make food with that. Just live off that for now. Um, okay, let's go place these things down first really quick then. Smash into myself, yeah, brilliant. Okay. So I'm just going to pop, pop out really quick and place some uh, generators. Okay, so very cool. It's very shallow. Um, so I can really place them anywhere, I guess. Yeah, I can still shoot. What about when I'm in the middle of it? Is it too deep? No, 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 no. Still let me shoot, still let me shoot. Okay, well. That's interesting. So I'm assuming critters can come in here and get me. Okay, but good to know. Some way a waistline pond of kind of I don't know. It's hard to tell. Is that murky? Yeah, that's okay. The uh, generator filters all that crap out. So you know, let's get those placed down. Throw the O2 down. Uh, it just has to be in water somewhere, touching it. So we don't have to go crazy with placement here. Put some energy in there. 16 hours worth. 20, we'll, we'll do 25 hours a day's worth. Okay. Get these others placed. We'll do the hydrogen next. Um, yes, I am one of those players that actually make fusion cells. Uh, they are probably the most efficient use of Promethium. I haven't exactly done the math, but even in my head, the minimal amount that you need to run them to double the amount of effectiveness of your Promethium. Um, I mean, it's... It's got to be a win, right? So in my, in my head, it's more efficient. I know a lot of people don't like making them, but, you know, moving all the... It's the... I get it. The bottle management, the energy management of it kind of sucks, but... Okay. So we got those up running. Let's get some water placed too. Not like we really need it, but we'll get that down too. I mean, it is a desert planet. You'd, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll consume more my food faster or something if there's, I don't know. Uh, okay, we need some power. Let's get that in there. Okay, that leaves us with 20 cells on us. I took, I had to take off the EVA boost because it is, after all, a desert planet. 54 degrees out right now. I am in my heavy armor uh, with a couple of multi boosts and an armor. Um, so my armor is actually pretty rocking right now. Um, I could have put in another boost, I guess. I still got another slot available. You can't see it because I'm 
I don't have the locker open, but okay. There we go. We got some generators down. Uh, let's go smash a rock. See how this thing performs. So I see rocks over there. Let's this this one looks like the closest here. Silicone. Okay. So that's fine. We'll uh, we'll do this. And it's showing us to have five drills, 30 some odd meters to the center of it. Let's just, uh, I'm hovering. I'll hit the drills. And oh yeah, it's, it's eating it really fast. Look at that. You can visibly see it shrinking too. So we'll Wow. So do I get a little closer? Do I get it faster? Oh yeah, it seems to. Huh. That's interesting. So it seems to be eating it really quick, and I can just sit here hover with the uh, single button down. Uh, super, super easy to drill. Now the the game speed's really loud. Our game is really loud. I'm going to go into the options and turn down the uh, the audio a bit. It's it's probably. The drill seems to be a little overpowering. Okay, I'm just going to crank that down to there. There we go. Okay. So, we've barely been at this, I don't know, hardly any, right? Like maybe a minute? Let's see. Oh, I guess I should have checked my... Um... Oh, crap. That spider scared the crap out of me. Okay, so there's spiders on the planet. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Spiders. Stickus is going to love that. Uh, yeah, hi. How's it going? I, uh, I, I'm just here eating this rock away. Just don't mind me. You can't get me in my cockpit, I hope. So the, wow, this asteroid is, uh, just shrinking fast, isn't it? Well, this seems to be fairly easy. This is kind of easy mode mining on a planet with no POIs. <laughs> not that, not that drones really matter. This HV with with its minigun turret can handle it no problem. Wow! So let's just take a look. See how big it is. The dust is really okay. So it's it's shrinking. It's really shrinking. I like it. These these drills don't seem to throw the vehicle around as much either. Um, the other drill tended to the Tended to really throw the vehicle. Wow, it's really visibly shrinking fast now. You can see it there before the cloud of dust comes up. See how fast it's shrinking when I'm hitting it? You can kind of see the outline of it. These drills are really making fast work of it. Wow. Oops. Oh, look at that. It's just a peony. It's your only way for, sir. Oh, there it goes. It popped. Okay. Uh, I left a little divot. Well, that's not so bad as a huge crater, right? 
right? A little divot. So, that was f fast. Let's see what we got here. Um... What? Oh, I must have not emptied it from the last one. Oh, well. Okay. So I've got a bunch in there from testing earlier with just three drills. Uh, that was definitely faster, though, with the five. It, it, uh, it ate that for dinner. Well, let's go try this one. What, um... Okay, here. What I'll do... Let's go into here. Let's empty that onto me. Okay. And this thing still has a gun on the front, a, a Gatling gun. So just, oh, look at that. Some, uh, some honey out in the middle of the uh, desert. Some other squigglies. Squigglies. So there's, there is living stuff, so there's some iron here. Okay. So let's just double check that we got nothing in the cargo box. No? Okay. Okay, and I think I want to time this too. Let me... Go like this. Eh. Okay. Hit it. So the nice thing is I don't even need to adjust my hover height so far on this planet. It's so flat. Um, I guess this is kind of boring too. <laughs> but it looks like it's just raking in the iron. Yeah, look at that like piles of it coming in you can see the uh, meteorite shrinking well I definitely find meteorites a lot easier to mine than um, than deposits so this is actually pretty cool I really I'm really kind of digging this now obviously um, not so good for auto miners, but you know what? I'm okay with that. If I gotta get out here and put in some time to knock this down, then not that big of a deal. So it's really shrinking fast. The, um, the laser drills, it, this thing's a breeze to control right now. Granted, I do have it at a, a low hover height. Let me crank up the hover height and see what happens. Okay, so at the three meter height. Um, oh, well, that's interesting. Threw off some kind of bizarre dirt. So I can't really tell if it's pushing us. I think it's actually just shrinking. Creates a little bit of a visual illusion that we're slowly moving back. But in fact, it's shrinking. So it'll be interesting to see how much we get. We've been at it for two, just just over two minutes now. You can see it just piling in super fast, so... This is uh, this is gonna work really well. I'm gonna make um, 
I'm gonna make some furnace bunkers on these planets and just and just have some massive ore furnace depositories and then once they get all turned into ingots I'll ship them up to space to the um, to the CV platform that we're building up in space we're gonna make a big base up there and it's gonna be basically a refueling CV building platform CV repair platform um, and we'll just we'll just transfer the materials by small vehicle with with uh, cargo holds and I'll just leave HVs down on each planet because uh, they're cheap enough to build and I can just leave them down there I don't need I don't need to even take a CV down here once I got bases set up yeah this is this is going really good look at this aimed at it starting to shrink quite fast so it's easier to see now that I'm hovering three meters trying to keep the um, trying to keep all lasers pointing on it as it shrinks gonna drop this down a bit it's getting too hard to keep it pointing at the uh, oh I can just oh yeah I guess I can just land there we go hold the button down <laughs> oh not quite okay so I gotta it's shooting over it now now I gotta aim at it boom okay let's check that was uh, roughly five minutes so five minutes to get two and just just a smidge over two stacks in five minutes of iron. Uh, wow, that's that's fast. That's. I dare say that might be faster than a CV and I think we'll actually time that too next time that we're up mining with the CV uh, which I put a big mining turret on it so uh, it can actually get ore in space now that's pretty awesome so there we go um, nice nice getting uh, can always use iron iron irons like the staple of this game right so Sathium is actually quite important too, and I'm going to have to make a Sathium run with the CV. But for now, uh, I just wanted to go around and gather a bunch of stuff. Um, so that's silicone, iron. We've got a bunch of copper already, some promethium there. I guess I think I got cobalt already. Really, I mean, what I need now is maybe some magnesium. Yeah, let's go hunt down a magnesium meteorite. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? So, that's silicone. Let's take a look on the map here. Let's go straight south, and then we'll cut east, or we'll cut west a bit. So, south. Increase my hover height a bit. I guess south till we come to the barrier, and then we'll head west. So, come on, meteors. Oh. Let's... We don't have to go quite so close to the wall. We can see any of the other rocks. Now, another thing I wanted to try, too, is I could put a... Oh, what the hell is that? I have never seen one of those before. 
Oh man, is it uh, is it aggressive? Should I jump out? That is freaky looking. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's let's. What are we at? At 49 degrees, we'll be okay. No, oh, come on. Come on, let me up. Okay, he's not freaking on me right yet. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's try killing him. Oh, he gets pissed off when I try. Oh, man, he's not dying. Oh, good. Ooh. Okay, he took some bullets. Anything else aggro because of that? No, 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 no. You taste my minigun, yeah. So he's like a, I don't know, like a, like a raptor of some sort, I guess. Huh? Interesting. It's a dinosaur. Okay. It says dinosaur. It's got meat. It's got meat. It's pretty big. That kind of scared the crap out of me while it wasn't dying right away. Okay. 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 Good. That's interesting. Let's uh, keep on our westerly hunt for uh, magnesium. Okay, that looks like an asteroid over there. Anyway, supposedly you can actually uh, mine those rocks with the uh, with the wood harvester. So uh, promethium. I mean, we need promethium, but we. That's kind of cool looking, eh? Promethean meteorite. Very neat. Okay. Uh, let's keep looking for magnesium. That looks like another meteor coming up. I'm liking how easy it is to fly around on this planet so far. I mean, it does have some mountains over that area, but... And Promethium again. Okay, okay. So let's take a look on the map where we are. We're getting into that area. Okay, we're way... We're way far, far from the CV. Okay, that's okay. When you get close enough... You can see the um, meteorites, but they don't actually stay on your map like regular deposits do. So, as soon as you get too far away, they they blip off your map. Well, we'll keep uh, looking for magnesium. Uh, might have to circle the planet. Then we'll move down a bit. So there is some train here, I mean, not much. There might be water in some of these crevices too. Oh, there, what do we got coming up here? Magnesium, perfect, okay, so. Let's. Whew, that's bright. Those lights are bright, aren't they? Okay, let's uh, let's go without lights. Uh, I'm sure everyone can see. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna get really close. Okay, I'm not gonna quite hit it, but let's let's hover down so we're not hovering. 
And, but we're tilted. Okay, that's not going to work like that. Let's find some flat ground. Uh, or we got to be facing down at it, I guess, might work. Yeah, this will probably work. Okay, so let's zap it. So I'll just uh, kind of recline back. My uh, HV has a has a lazy boy in it that I custom installed um, for one finger mining like this. It's uh, pretty cozy. Uh, got my uh, coffee mug holder on the side. Yeah, that's good stuff. So kind of cool, it gives off the magnesium color as you mine it. Um, I mean, it looks like it's plowing through it pretty darn fast. So we'll see how long this takes to, to pop. I'm liking what they're doing with the game in the way of addition so far. Um, little things like these these lasers that they added for the HV for for example add actually quite a bit to the game you, you wouldn't think so but they actually do um, it actually makes mining somewhat doable again from a uh, um, a carpal tunnel situation if you know what I'm talking about. Because mining before in an HV, it got pretty topsy-turvy at times. And you're constantly clicking the buttons and just... I mean, you do that with any video game, true, but... So, wow, it's... Is it, like, almost gone? Holy crap. We almost nuked it. It's been barely, like... Like two minutes here. Okay, well, I guess it's not gonna be. Oh, oh. Where is it? Can't find it. Come on, there it goes. Okay, let's check out. Uh, that was just over about two and a half minutes. Okay. So. Let's see what we got. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Um, not bad. We got a little bit more iron in the same time, technically, because it took five five minutes to get more, a little bit more than double that. So, not bad at all. I mean, you can see this is going to be uh, really fast. So let's put this in the fridge here uh, actually you know what you know what while we're out here I got some meat on me I don't have to eat my seaweed if I don't need to I'd rather cook up some uh, some good let's have some steak yeah some steak sounds good yeah I know parish time 25 don't bug me don't judge I'm gonna eat most of it right away so Actually, I'm going to eat all of it right away. Yeah, got me some steak. Okay. Uh, well, that was good. You can see that was like super duper fast. Um, I haven't tested the HV drill yet. Uh, I haven't actually made one. I, I might be doing that. I might be actually making a dedicated... Um, HV for for these planets and I'll blueprint it and duplicate it four times and build four bases and and we'll have some wicked wicked places to mine uh, awesome awesome okay well you can see that is super cool I'm glad I made those and now we let's head back with our spoils. 
Let's mark this. Head back to the death trap. 4.4 kilometers. Uh, close enough. It means that the uh, line is like right here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe this planet's a little bit bigger than eight kilometers around. So let's head up into the mountains then. We'll see what... what we got in the way of uh, meteorites up here. If they're if they've been crashing up here at all, so so we got pentaxic crystals uh, up in the mountains. That's good. That's good. So we can get pentaxid on this planet. That's good. Okay. So they're at, okay. There's a whole bunch of meteorites down here. Let's go check them out. So there's a cobalt one. I don't think I need it right now. It's not that I won't get it. I will, because, you know, completionist. I'll have to get every single one. But then by the time I start, they'll start respawning and it'll be a never ending story. Oh, there was magnesium right there. Okay, well, whatever. So let's see where I am here. So, okay. So over that area, we've got magnesium. I'm actually going to mark that because I'm going to come back for that right away, I think, after after uh, the video. I'll do a whole bunch of mining off camera. Um, really what I should do, I do have a bunch of base parts ready to make. And I think next video what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to build a base and get it up and running on I think right here I mean I really like this spot here it's super flat um, it's right near some water and I like it it's in the middle of a desert like literally in the middle of a desert on a desert planet so how much more deserty can you get Right? Right? I'll turn it into my own personal oasis, maybe. I think for now I want to get an ore bunker going. Uh, it looks like this is going to be some f fantastic ore mining. So, well, that was, uh, that was good. We saw how effective these laser mines, or laser drills are. The frickin' lasers! And frickin' lasers on my HV. That is so awesome. That I'm I'm so stoked about that. That was awesome. Super fast. Super good. Nice. Look at that. It actually looks a little meaner with those uh, drills sticking out the front like that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So there we go. Uh, we'll leave it at this. Uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, the next episode, I'm going to be uh, building a base out of concrete. Uh, we'll make it a uh, mining bunker, and um, yeah, we'll we'll get to getting some ore and. Really what I need to do is I got to go hunt a bunch of the animals and level because right now, sadly, I'll show you, I stupidly did not, see I got four unlock points and I, um, I didn't take furnace last time and I could have, I forget what I took. It was not Furnace. There was a whole bunch of other good stuff that I took, though, 
Not that I didn't take good stuff, but so now I got to level up again and we're getting close. So I think if I just go kill a few things, get a bunch of meat, um, get to level 21, then I can spec into that furnace and build that for us. We'll, we'll have, uh, we'll have a nice forge going on on the planet and I'll, I'll, I'll make it a big like hangar type thing to, to, to park a nice large mining HV in and, and, you know, park a couple of SVs, some transport SVs, cargo SVs. Um, so yeah, next time, lots of ore. This is going to be great. Woof. Have a good one, guys.